What's going on everybody? So I finally got some time to get back out here and we're pretty much this I'm going to try to button like everything up and get this car situated for the tune. I'm pretty sure the last video you guys saw we finally got it running. It's not running that good and uh, that's kind of what I want to address in today's video but since then I finally put the valve cover on like the the motor the engine bay and everything it, it's fully situated all uh, today i'm also going to be filling it with coolant we're going to try to bleed i'm going to try to bleed the system if i can get the car to run right basically so when i say run right yeah uh, ever since we scaled the new injectors it's just pretty much it's dumping fuel i think i can't remember um either i think it was off camera Being, me and kenny we were kind of playing with it a little more and at idle it's just pegged rich 10-0 so uh, what I'm going to try to do today, I'm going to try to go into the fuel tables and I'm just going to pull fuel. I'm unsure if I want to take it out at just the idle section of the map or I'm just going to pull, pull fuel out of the entire map just to be safe so I can maybe take it around the block because uh, it, it's it's way too rich. I pulled a plug. It is fouled out completely. I mean, it is wet, it's black, and it smells like raw fuel. So definitely have to take some fuel out of this. I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to bleed the system so we can seal the cooling system, bring it down, and maybe take it around the block. I doubt we're going to today, but who knows? Let's show you the valve cover. So I know some people were commenting that, you know, it looked horrible. And I was telling you guys that, where is it, that, that valve cover is just a spare. This is the new fresh valve cover that was done. Again, manifolds, the, the runners... The valve cover, um, I think that's pretty much was it. That was all done by Quick Strip and Carteret. That's my boy Mike. Hit him up. Let him know that Sergio sent you. Sergio with the Black RSX. If you guys need work, it is top notch. It's quality work. So this is the final look. Uh, I have this ready. So when we go to the the dyno, that's already there. So I don't have to switch anything when we get there. Um. Yeah, so I'm just going to put you guys down. I'm going to put some coolant in it. So what I'm using is uh, this peak coolant right here, right? So this is this pretty much the equivalent to Honda coolant. It's a little cheaper. Um, and here's all the years it works with. I've used it before. That's going to be fine. This, the, this Mishimoto radiator usually takes about a gallon and a half, if I, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure it's a gallon and a half because, well, I only bought a gallon and I have about half left from last from last time. So if it's not, then we're going to have to go out and get some more. If I sound weird, it's because we went out last night. Just a quick backstory. We went out last night. Kenny and all of our friends went bowling. When I go out, I get a little wild. I start screaming a lot. So I kind of lost my voice and I can kind of hear myself. My voice sounds really weird. It's, it's kind of cold in here too, so that's why I'm a little sniffly, but um, whatever. Let's start putting some coolant in here. Once we get that just starting to burp a little bit on its own, we'll get the laptop out and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to take fuel out. So a quick little tip that I do just so you guys know is I'll never really fill the funnel up halfway just because... As the thermostat's getting ready to open sometimes, it'll actually start pulling or pushing a whole bunch of bubbles up. And this will just rise and rise and rise. And I've had it to where sometimes I'll fill it up halfway to make sure it won't suck it in all at once and, and, and you know, pull in air. That it just started rising all the way up and started overflowing. And then the thermostat opened and it, drank, it sucked it all the way in. So what I usually do is I'll just keep it very low as it's idling and as it's burping. I'll just keep an eye on it, you know, I'll always have the coolant nearby and I'll just keep adding it if it goes down. So that way it won't really sneak up and make a mess everywhere. It's happened to me. So in case you guys are using this and if somebody's asking or curious, this is called spill free funnel. This is, it has a whole bunch of attachments. This is what it is. I found this on eBay. Uh, I've used this a lot throughout my whole automotive, you know, my mechanical career. And it just comes with all its attachments for different types of radiators so in case somebody's curious. This is what you would use to properly bleed it. All right, so we're in the car. We're uh, fully booted up with uh, K-Pro. Okay, I thought my camera was gonna start doing this weird slow thing in low lighting. So I'm gonna, you know, 
right out the gate, full disclosure, I am not a tuner. I don't pretend to be a tuner. This stuff right here, this is not my specialty. Uh, this is me just kind of, un kind of understanding what I'm going to do. Uh, if you're not 100% sure on this, I wouldn't even say use this as like a guide. Just we're, watch me do this and, you know, just kind of some entertainment value out of it but i'm I, i'm not good at this kind of stuff honestly and i don't i don't ever pretend to be that i could set a tune up for you i can upload a map i can get into the map i can set the the tps you know the fuel scale the injectors and stuff like that like i could do that but now we're actually going i'm i'm going into the map and i'm changing fuel and stuff like that so take this as a warning <laughs> I'm, I'm not 100% sure. It might not work. I don't know. I'm just going to to try because obviously, I mean, the plugs are so fouled out that I don't need, the car barely runs when it's running because it's just, it's washing my cylinders out and you could, it sounds like it's like, like a single, a single lobe cam, uh, like a VTEC killer, just blah, 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 blah. And it just, it's cause it's just, it's drowning in fuel. So with that out of the way, I'm going to explain to you guys what I'm going to be doing. So check this out. Like, <laughs> I'm usually good with people roasting me in the comments with stuff like that. Like, I I'm fine with it. You know, it is what it is. You guys do your thing. I'm doing my thing, and I'm just showing other people that would want to watch. But what I'm going to be doing, so if I'm doing it wrong, just let me know how I could do it better. Don't just say you're an idiot because I already told you I don't know what I'm doing here. But anyway, all right, so we have, cape. I'm going to, if there's a way to screen capture, I got to figure it out. But for today, we're going to do it the getaway. So with our map pulled up, we have our table section right here. So I have it on our fuel low speed, pretty much. I think that's where I need to be because there's nothing else for fuel. So we're going to stay on fuel low speed because all I want to do is mess with the fuel on the idle side. So... A quick rundown this column right here this is your rpm column i don't know what happened the camera just cut but this right here this is your rpm column so you can see we were starting at 500 and it stops here at 7000 but you can you can keep scrolling down this column up here this is how much vacuum the the map sensor is reading at the moment so negative 26 that's like uh let me get a little closer that's full vacuum so you're in full vacuum when you're at idle uh half half a uh, even though you got almost nothing all right <laughs> almost zero vacuum that's full throttle so that's when you have almost no vacuum in the manifold so everything else in between here is pretty much your cruising and, and and all the other loads so this is your load this is your rpm so i'm gonna be trying to mess with the fuel at idle so idle we're gonna pretty much be i'm only gonna touch these two columns right here and I'm probably going to just come down to like 3,000 RPMs just when I'm revving around there to move it. So what I would do is I'm going to highlight column one. So here, I'll show you. Whoa, switch hands. So what I would do is I'd highlight these two columns. I'm going to come down to there. So this is where I'm going to be touching fuel. I'm tempted to do the whole map. Let me do this first. So now what I'm going to do is control D. So control D means decrease. So we're actually going to decrease this by 1%. So if you can see your numbers right here, control D, it's taken, you know, 1% away. So I'll hit it again. It took another percent. So I already took 2% out from this section of the map. Um, ideally, the way I'm going to do this, because of the, what I saw, I saw at when my car was running, I saw 10.0, and that's the richest the, the gauge can go on the AEM air fuel gauge. I'm going to I'm going to take maybe 10% out right now so I can start it. See what the gauge says and once the car is running, I'm going to adjust this as it's running and my theory is I'm going to watch the gauge start to lean out so maybe like if I could get it to a 12, we'll leave it there. We'll let your solo deal with the rest. So that's my theory. This is my idea. Is it going to work the way I think it's going to work? I honestly have no idea. This is my first time actually pulling f pulling fuel out of any kind of tune. Um, the reason why I'm doing this? Well, because the car is going to get retuned anyway. So 
um, without really jinxing myself, I can't really, you know, I feel comfortable messing with this because it's going back and it's going to get redone anyway because, it, you know, the injectors are new and everything. It's got to get rescaled by, his, you know, he's got to retune the whole car. So me doing this is not really going to make his job harder because he's already going in there and having to redo everything anyway. So this is just me having the car a little more drivable for when it gets there. So it, there's like one less step he has to deal with with trying to keep it running on the dyno. I'm going to see if I can do that for him. So we'll see. Um, like I said, I'm going to take out 10%. I already took 2% out, so we're going to, you know, control D eight more times. And uh, we're going to upload it so it's saved. And we're going to try to start it. And we'll see what our, what our gauge is at. If I see already like a 10.3 or something like that, I know it did something. So we're just going to keep on there and just really keep hitting, keep, keep hitting control D as we watch the gauge just go uh, leaner, 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 leaner. And then we'll stop. And then maybe we'll finally pull it out of the garage. I don't know. Fingers crossed. All right. So I just uploaded the changes. I took the 10% out. As soon as I uploaded it, the fuel pump primed twice. Did some weird stuff. Made me freak out a little bit. I don't know what it just did. So we're going to start it right now. Um, I kind of angled it so you guys can see the gauge. But I doubt you're going to see that on the camera. So let's start it up. Um, if the camera falls, it falls. Because, well... I'm gonna have to go make sure that there's enough coolant in the funnel once it starts running and if it's if it's decent. So if you fall, my bad. Here we go. Okay, we're all good. Still rich. Stupid rich. Kind of. I'm going to do the whole map. She's not happy. She didn't like that. All right. So obviously that doesn't work. And I just smell raw fuel, man. This thing is, it's dumping so much fuel. All right, let me think about this and we'll see what we can do. So I don't know if you could hear me over the fan. You know what, I'll just shut it off. So I figured I fixed it. Um, my fault, honestly. Um, I guess when we first initially scaled the injectors, we didn't upload it properly. We just saved the map. We never uploaded it to the ECU. So I got 1,000 cc injectors in there scaled as 4 tenths, and it was just like, you know, just dumping. So as soon as I went to go check that, I saw I was reading 4 tenths. I put the 1050s, I uploaded it. The car smoothed out, but I was a little too lean. So then I went back and I started, um, adding fuel to it again pretty much kind of close to where it originally was take a picture if you're ever going to do this take a picture of what you're starting as so that way you have a reference if it doesn't work you can go back to the way it was so i got close to where it was supposed to be now it's um idling at 12 4 12 5 which is i'm 100 percent okay with that but then the next problem arose uh i have a a crazy vacuum leak it sounds like the idle is just surging up and down up and down up and down um I'm trying to spray brake clean around my manifold and stuff without destroying the powder coating. Uh, otherwise, I'd be spraying the whole thing everywhere trying to find this leak. So I'm trying to find a leak right now. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going. I'm going over everything, making sure like the TPS is is properly calibrated, which it is. I just double checked. Um, my idle, my idle valve is off. So. It's not that I, I'm for some reason I'm going to the idle air control valve like those set screws I put in there. Um, they could be leaking from there, but I, I tried to spray a little bit up there, you know, try to get the brake clean under there, and it, it didn't, you know, it didn't change. So 
I'm trying to go around the gasket of the whole manifold. The next place I'm going to try to look is the actual gasket in between where the manifold splits in half. But that's like, you know, dead center of the manifold. And I don't want to spray brake clean and then it, it starts to make the powder coating look like crap. And then I'm going to be pissed about that. So I'm trying to find a way of check finding that vacuum leak without having to really spray brake clean all over the manifold. And the throttle body, uh, I sprayed the map sensor. The map sensor, it, again, it didn't, nothing changed when I sprayed there. Um, so I, I'm trying to figure it out. It's not, the throttle body is not sticking. So I'm not really sure where else I'm going to go. So I'm going to take some time to figure this out. I might even need to get some more coolant. I'm already out and the funnel is, is it's running pretty low. So, okay, that works. Just make sure you keep uploading everything. So now every, every time I make a change, I just hit that upload button, that arrow. Um, I'll show you where the arrow is just in case you don't know. So it's going to be this arrow right here, right next to the, the blue eye. That'll be lit up when you're in K-Pro. So you, every time you, you know, you make a change in something, just go hit that blue arrow. It'll say it's uploading. You'll hear the fuel, you'll hear the fuel pump prime and everything. And whatever change you just did is now uploaded. So from this clip right now to whatever the next clip you're going to see is i'm not sure how big of a gap there's going to be but right now i'm going to try to take some time and find where this vacuum leak is or or what's going on it honestly sounds like vacuum leak so i guess i can show you guys what the hell all right so we'll start it up just so you guys can see that the air fuel is back to normal all right so here's the air fuel right now because I don't know if you guys can hear me over the car I think I figured it out after about two hours it seems like it's the throttle body the throttle body is getting stuck um, I know it's kind of a known thing it could be because it's a fresh throttle body but I got it to run or idle smoothly now so we're gonna check it out and I'll let it run so you can see it we'll shut it off and then I'll explain what I did You see our idle's kind of high. Uh, unfortunately, I can't go any lower with the idle. Uh, I'll figure that out though. Our air fuel's decent, I can live with that. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go under the engine bay and crack the throttle body open slightly. And you're gonna hear it surge. So I hope you guys were able to hear me while the car was running and everything I was trying to explain. If you didn't, I'll go over right now. Basically, the throttle body was sticking. I had to manually close it with my hand to stop the idle surging. So there's no vacuum leaks. Everything I did was good, which is actually reassuring because I was actually going through my head trying to figure out what I did wrong. How did I screw this up? I know I took my time making sure this manifold sit flush on everything. And I sprayed brake clean around it and I kind of screwed up some parts. They look crap now they look like crap so whatever that's fine um there's a lot of adjustments on these on the k2 throttle body so i initially just put it on and uh started it up so i could do adjustments i'm gonna have to tighten up the throttle spring in there to really make it shut tighter and that'll be the fix and i'm you know that's why they gave you all these adjustments just to to do it so that's no big deal we'll make that on a separate video i'm glad we pretty much got the car running 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 period we got the car running now it's just a couple little tweaks here and there 
and we're going to set a date to go get the car tuned and we will crack 300 horsepower i don't know if on camera you can hear it but just revving it in person you could just hear how much how much it's sucking in with this with this bigger setup and um i'm excited so i, I was just happy to throw something out there i know it took I, it's been a little bit but uh, i'm rambling i do that sometimes my bad i do want to point that out there though i did start a new playlist called behind the build if you guys haven't checked it out please check it out this is just this is something i'm 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 having fun with, you know, and not that I don't have fun doing all this stuff, but that was totally different, you know, just sitting down talking. I talk about cars all day. You ask any of my friends, you ask Nicole, I'm always talking about cars. So I'm really excited about this behind the build. So if you guys could please go check that out. I think it was two, two episodes ago, we were talking about all motor versus boost. And uh, I talk about plans of ever boosting, if I will, maybe I will never, I don't know, check it out. Kenny talks about all motor we we just we're just talking man so honestly please if you guys can check that video out give it a big thumbs up that'll help me that'll help that video and i can really i got tons of ideas for that so we're gonna leave it at that next video uh i'm gonna see we're gonna start adjusting this to auto body uh we're gonna get this adjusted right so when, every time we start it up hit the gas and let off comes back to where we want it thanks for checking this video out guys if you're new make sure you subscribe like comment you guys know the whole deal that every youtuber says but it helps us out so i'll catch you in the next video stay motivated and keep making those streets louder